Uh, hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Love Local Business and today I'm joined by uh, Daryl Ross of Dynamic Physiotherapy. So thanks for taking a couple mu minutes uh, to join me here, Daryl. Not a problem. Um, do you just want to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your business? Yeah, my name is Daryl Ross. I'm the owner, one of three partners that own uh, Dynamic Physiotherapy in Brandon. We've been uh, We've been a business in Brandon for 15 years. Actually, the uh, sadly, the week we had to uh, modify our operations was our 15 year anniversary. So it was a bit uh, bittersweet, but uh, we're trying to, uh, to roll with the punches here and, and change our service delivery as best we can in the midst of the pandemic and uh, just trying to move forward. Um, perfect. So when, before the pandemic hits and everything, how many um, therapists and, and stuff do you, do you have on staff and what's a typical kind of business day look like for you guys? Uh, presently we have three partners and then four other associate physiotherapists and we have three massage therapists in our in our clinic. We operate out of uh, three different locations. Our main clinics on Richmond Avenue but we also have a satellite office in Hamiota and then another satellite at the Healthy Living Centre in Brandon University. Uh, we probably average 60 to 70 patients a day physio wise uh, coming through the office so we're, we're a busy spot and uh, we've seen that uh, cut dramatically seeing that we are uh, seeing patients in the clinic now other than just emergent cases that being uh, people who may end up in eMERGE or any frontline workers or any post-surgical or types of patients that uh, where there may be a safety risk if we, we don't address them but we're, we're trying to keep those to a minimum. Uh, at present. Uh, oh, okay, I didn't, uh, but there is still services being offered that I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, what we're, what we're calling it is modified operations. Um, okay. Probably a year ago, we started to think of, uh, you know, virtual, uh, virtual therapy is something that we would like to move into in the future. But, you know, being busy, we didn't get around to it. And uh, essentially, what's happened is this pandemic has forced the hand of all clinics that are still wanting to uh, maintain contact with their clients and move to a virtual platform. So we're not saying, telling anybody we're closed, we're calling it modified operations. And um, we've been doing probably about a week and a half now of virtual visits. And, uh, and it's, it's interesting, you know, we're, we're seeing that there's actually some things that are quite valuable to the medium. And because it's new, I think there's probably some and we're, we're typically thought of as a profession that's very hands-on, but yeah, um, I think a lot of the future of the profession based on a lot of uh, rehab research that's being done right now is that um, our, our expertise in terms of our knowledge and uh, our instruction, our education of patients and uh, exercise prescription really is the backbone and the basis of what we do. And all of those things are still able to be done done virtually. So. Uh, I, I think the new platform, it, it kind of fits in well with what we do and who we are. And we believe that after this uh, pandemic uh, is past us, that this is going to be something that's integrated into our, our um, previous forms of service delivery. And, uh, um, and I think the advantages of that are great. We'll be able to service people kind of outside the envelope of Brandon who are from a distance, maybe some rural communities that don't have physio services, uh, you know, we, we see that we, we may have a place to uh, address some of those patients um, through a virtual medium, so. No, that's exciting, because I know, um, like Jen and I have talked with our real estate business and that we have been given the gift of time to be able to adapt and, and do some of the things we had thought of before. And it sounds like you guys have kind of had that opportunity at the same time to um, implement some plans that have been in the works for a little while, um, just not the, the time or availability of it. So that's great to hear. Um, now, I know from a previous conversation, we were talking uh, some telehealth, is that correct? And, and how does that all kind of work, if you want to touch on that a little bit? I know you were, you were talking about that with me earlier. Yeah. Well, we, we're trying to change the term. We don't like the term telehealth because we find it's a bit confusing uh, to clients. Uh, I think a better term is virtual visits. Yeah. Um, and okay. we're, we're still having direct contact. It's just through a video medium. And, and uh, essentially, you know, similar to this, uh, like a Zoom type um, software, ours is a little different and it has to be uh, secure and, and health standards. So, uh, but it's a similar secure platform. 
we can see you move. Um, there's some advantages we get to see you in your home environment. So, you know, if there's certain things at home you're having trouble with, you know, you can walk around your home and show us, um, you know, wh what your issues are and, and we can address them that way. Yeah. We find the other thing that patients like is that you have our undivided attention for, uh, you know, 15, 20 yeah. minutes, half an hour, 45 minutes, where a lot of times in our clinic, you know, we may have, you know, a couple of patients on the go at a time and we're in and out of the room where in this medium, you, you get our full attention for the duration of the session, which, uh, which we think uh, patients will quite like. Um, so yeah, the session's about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, we, we each log on, we meet similar to the way I'm talking with you right now. And, uh, and we, we basically get you to tell us where you're at, what your problems are, uh, what issues you're having, and we, we try to address them. Yeah, perfect. So with your clinic in that, I know just from my experience, there's a lot of athletes that tend to come through there in that. Um, what do you see happening like through the summer in that? Are people still able to get in touch with you if they need to in that? And, and sure, like, yeah. we're, we're still considering our business open. Obviously with uh, sports not happening right now, you know, we're not seeing nearly the, the number of injuries and, and volume that we normally would. Um, the predominant caseload we're seeing right now is uh, workers' compensation, uh, Manitoba Public Insurance. But um, the, the good news is we've been we've been given a real gift in that most of the insurance companies in Canada have come on board and said, you know, we're going to honor virtual visits in the same way at the same fee schedule that we are honoring our traditional physiotherapy service. So. Uh, we, we see it as a gift and we feel quite grateful that uh, all the insurance companies have stepped up to the plate. So if anyone has extended health benefits, you know, we're, we're still direct billing uh, and, and for all the patients that we can. And yeah. uh, we would just encourage people, if you're, if you're having issues at home, any type of injury problems, uh, we don't want you to feel that we're, we're not accessible and we're not reachable. We are open and uh, we, can, we can certainly um, connect with you virtually and, uh, and offer our services. So our, our clinic phone number is still active. Um, just Perfect. call the clinic and uh, we would uh, set up that appointment for you. Perfect, no, that's, that's amazing that uh, insurance has worked with you guys so you guys can stay operating and stuff as well. Um, is that everybody, like all your therapists and your owners and that are all still well, presently, just because the, our volumes are way down, we've, uh, we've laid off our associate physios. So at present, there's just the three owners working. But uh, we're, what we're truly hoping is that this, this virtual medium uh, starts to pick up a little bit. We found a lot of our active caseload, you know, two weeks ago. Um, when we called them, you know, what they were saying was, well, we, we're just going to wait until you're open again. But I think what we're seeing now is that uh, the social distancing is probably something that's going to be happening for quite a while. So if any of our clients are out there listening, we would encourage you to call us. Um, uh, we don't want you waiting at home, not uh, receiving help for the issues that you're having. And, uh, you know, we can certainly uh, give you give you a sample of what the virtual platform looks like. We can do a, a little freebie even if you want just to see. Uh, if you're comfortable with it and uh, we could kind of move forward from there. So, yeah, no, I, I think kind of what you touched on there is I think people are starting to adjust to, to the virtual lifestyle a little bit more because I mean, that's what everybody's forced into doing. So um, it's exciting to see a hands-on industry, like you referred to it, like yourselves kind of adapting and, and being able to offer your services at home. Um, so I guess, just kind of wrapping up here, we've got some great information so far. Is there anything we haven't touched on that you want to touch on or a message you want to try and say to the community in that? Um, I don't think so much specifically to, uh, to our business, but I would say um, local is important. Uh, local business is important. I know times are tough, incomes are reduced, but I think it's still important to try to reach out and support uh, whether it be your local restaurant offering uh, food delivery or pickup, those types of things. Um, I guess the other thing I do, I should mention is you know, with this virtual platform, uh, I think what you're going to see is a lot of very large companies, not local, that are going to try to kind of reach into our, our demographic and, and, and offer the same type of services. But uh, I would encourage people uh, reach out to your local physios, your 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 local businesses, because uh, we want to ensure that we're around when uh, when we're past this, 
and and we do think the future will continue to be you know us predominantly a hands-on profession uh, but we we see this virtual as something that will be kind of an added service yeah. um, that'll still be a part of it but uh, we want to ensure that we're around for you uh, when this is all over so um, virtual services are offered by local clinics so you don't need to uh, log on to some of these big national brands uh, when, when 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 the same thing is being offered locally well and I, I'm glad you kind of touched on that because I mean yes everything can be local but you can't run into your national brand at the grocery store or at the hockey rink and build that relationship and follow up and casual conversation and um, that's just something that is so special about our community is we are that size where you and I will run into each other uh, at the grocery store and, and have a conversation and, and build that relationship. So I'm really glad you touched on that because local um, businesses are absolutely the, the backbone of how we build communities around here. Yeah. And we, I, I know of, I have other friends who are business owners and we put a lot of money back into the community, yeah. whether it be local sports programs and these types of things. And, and those are the kind of things that national brands are not going to do. Um, so, um, yeah. Well, I think it was um, one of the past uh, interviews, I think it was, I um, can't remember his name, or regardless, he's like, Amazon won't sp sponsor your, your sports team. And it's so true because our local business community, we're the first, as, as a parent who, who has kids in sports, we're the first ones to come to you guys asking for a sponsorship in that. Um, so this is our opportunity as a community and as the, the city of Brandon to help the, the local business community out. Well, I appreciate you taking the time, Daryl. I, I really do appreciate the, the few minutes we've had today. So just please remember to support our local businesses. They need our help now and forever moving forward. We need to keep our local bu business community alive. So thanks again, Daryl. And uh, we'll see everybody again on the next episode. All right. Thanks, Ryan. Stay healthy, everyone.